ನಿತ್ಯಂದೇಶ್ವರಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಕಾಗ್ನಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಪರಮಶಿವ ರಿವೀಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಶೃಣು ಪ್ರಿಯೇ ಲಿಸನ್ ಓ ಬೆಲವಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ physiologically pressured by the hormones so physiology sends the signals to body physical structure so it starts responding but psychology is not having enough life positive affirmation to be active it does not have enough love it only feels the pressure of physiology and physical components so it is waiting to take revenge on the physiology and physical component the moment act is over the moment act is over psychology just takes over and pushes you in such life negative mood and feeling listen if the integrity between physical physiological psychological components of you is not achieved about your gender identification whether you are over sexed or under sexed you will be constantly struggling if you are under sexed you will have so much of struggle in your dreams if you are over sexed you will have so much of trouble in your psychology space understand whether you are aggressive or passive if your psychology is also prepared and integrated to physiology and physical component along with the hormonal pressure you will build tremendous love and responsibility care for the other person end of the act will not be falling down it will be falling into the intimacy every level your gender identification matters understand whether you are a womanizer or nymphomaniac it doesn't matter whether you are a sanyasi or sanyasini it doesn't matter what matters is do you feel ha inside your body your your integrity your physical physiological psychological components do they feel integrated about your gender identification understand very recently i was reading some of the articles in the research papers in the internet i saw literally there is nobody called straight if you think you are straight you are middle class mediocre the stupid middle class fellows just to satisfy themselves this mediocre mind because they are 
incapable of handling the truth they are mediocre they try to make fun of everyone who are elite that the, why do you think all celebrities are trolled because deep vengeance the mediocre mind holds if you are trolled you are a celebrity if you are trolling you are mediocre otherwise why will you waste time i can never think of trolling anybody i have i'm so busy in what i am supposed to contribute listen carefully trolling is nothing but tremendous vengeance inside when you know you are mediocre and you can't do anything about it then at least troll the elite you feel kind of a satisfied really takes revenge on you by keeping you always down <laughs> that is what is going on understand i am not interested in keeping you always down i am sharing the truth as it is listen and raise yourself you are physical identification that needs just a simple medical examination nothing else physical examination nothing else but physiological identification you need to look in whenever you feel excited are you more in kama or moha understand both of them are different in kama you just want to manifest the reality of you and the other person or persons involved in your life in moha you just want to exploit everyone for your pleasure there are two different things in kama you are very sure you want the completion for everyone involved in moha it is all about you feeling complete uh, i should not even use the word complete you feeling relieved listen carefully whenever your physiology is pressured if your psychology feels kama it is integrity you will be such a beautiful being whenever your physiology feels pressured and your psychology feels moha you will just be exploitative it will be more or less like a masturbation with another body or a rape that's it understand the reflection of parama shiva in you pratyagatma chaitanya the individual consciousness as a freedom to align your gender identification in the level of psychology and physiology and physical all three i wanted to make a statement by your will power you can make change your gender completely even physically ramakrishna demonstrated it sri ramakrishna paramahamsa demonstrated there was another one great yogi called madanagopala swami nadana nayagi swami he used to be called he lived in south india he was in madura baba with sri krishna with his power and will power he just manifested all the female characters in his system whole system listen first truth you need to know there is no such thing as straight nobody is straight you are just a being clothed with a body sexual attraction is nothing to do with the gender 
of the opposite person it is the grace you feel with the opposite person beautifully upanishad says you love your husband or wife not because he is male or female or husband or wife he is or she is reflection of your integrity with your identity understand attraction is due to the grace the other body radiates grace is always directly the quantity of the integrity that person's physical physiological psychological conscious identity enjoys understand the more their gender identification is integrated more grace they will manifest they will radiate grace is all about you being completely comfortable with your physical physiological psychological conscious identity called aham pratyagatma chaitanyam and all attraction is towards the grace not towards any gender not towards any person please understand break from this mediocre idea of gender dowholing feel completely relieved if you are confused about your gender identity understand if you are confused about gender identity feel good about it you are above the mediocre people mediocre people have decided to have false belief due to their fear of society it is the fear of society you deny your confusion or the identity crisis and just accept something society says and go on torture yourself for your whole life to believe what society has labeled it on you i am so grateful to my gurus at right age i received these lessons these understandings revelations i try to replicate the same knowledge to all the gurukul students all over the world all of you need to know i have opened the gurukul to the whole world you do not need to be inside adi kailasa or in any one place i am making the gurukul to the whole world available through the virtual enlightened app for kids and i am also going to make even krama brahmacharya open to all you can take krama brahmacharya in you and live in your home itself in those days there was no internet and ability to teach so they all have to gather in one place now we have everything let's use the technology for the best results i always recommend come to adi kailash but just because you are not able to come to adi kailash i don't want to deny you trying it on your own see even paramashiva home program for best results come to adi kailash but just because you are not able to come to adi kailash i don't want to deny you trying out on your own actually i am opening it for everyone to attend even from your home i'll call that as paramashivoham trying it out on your own nothing wrong you will surely have the benefit of the level to the level of your involvement your integrity when i say first 21 years be celibate i am not sadist i am not sadist understand i want you to understand first what real identity 
you are enjoying what is your real gender identity i tell you if you integrate your gender identity whether you are a sanyasi or a grihastha or a woman is you will be such graceful being you will be such graceful being i have seen the most graceful sanyasi and the most graceful womanizers i have seen both and sometimes i used to wonder how both of them radiate such grace i realized it is not about the action it is about the integrity an identity you feel in physical physiological psychological and conscious level most graceful celebrity i have seen is yogi ram surat kumar he is absolute brahmachari but such grace and the most graceful grihastha i have seen raghupati yogi he had 14 kids but his grace is i will say equivalent to ram surat kumar and another one graceful most graceful person i have seen osho i will not classify him i am not interested in that but i can say surely from by as far his own words he is not celibate let's stop with it but all three i will say equally graceful it means your outer actions do not matter when it comes to sex your inner most gender identity is all that matters solve here everything is solved solve here everything is solved all three have solved here because they solved here whether they were celibate or lived with one wife as a grihastha or one husband as a grihastha the most graceful women i have seen kuppamal my guru she lived with only one husband and four kids such grace and same way osho all three all four such graceful beings because the grace comes from inside completion it is nothing to do with external action grace means ability to generate huge love and respect in the other person the moment he sees you she sees you just by sight if you are able to instigate invoke tremendous love and respect that is called grace beautifully valmiki describes when sita entered the court the whole court stood up including janaka understand <laughs> janaka is father he says the grace she was carrying was such all the rishis munis and the people who came for sayambaram who were supposed to get married to her or who came with the lust to marry her all of them forgot their identity for few seconds and just stood up the grace she was radiating i tell you i wanted to get into the details all the mood swing 
women suffer and feeling exploited women feel is just because their three layers are not integrated physical physiological psychological does not feel the same gender identity there is a mismatch there is a confusion that is why women feel disgraced every time they enter into a sexual act and come out they feel exploited tortured abused listen all you need is aligning and when i say aligning i don't want to say in physical physiological psychological you need to feel the same gender identity no you just need to identify what you feel that's all if you identify you will know why you are feeling what you are feeling why you are behaving the way you are behaving understand realizing blind spot is curing blind spot nothing else realizing why you are behaving what the way you are behaving why you are doing the way you are doing why you are saying what you are saying liberates you i tell you just if this one understanding and realization is shared paramashiva gives at least some 25 methodology to identify your gender in physical physiological psychological conscious levels i'll reveal everything don't think i'll keep all that secrets for paramashiva home program i am not that kind of person what ever he gives me now i'll share it with you and i am here to give whatever he has given this moment if this body stops operating i know i have done my job whatever he has given i have given i have not withheld anything and if he allows this body to continue to operate i will go on be sharing what he has given what he is giving what he is giving that's it so it is up to him and i am very clear i have not kept anything for myself which he has given me whether the understanding or powers or knowledge or energy or shakti anything is given i have given it to all of you i have not kept anything for myself other than the two meal i take every day i have nothing to take from the society that two also now i reduced it to one <laughs> there's nothing to gain get from society or humanity whatever he reveals he gives i'll go on be giving it to all of you forever as long as this body functions even after that whatever gives he gives through the this body in maha samadhi i'll go on be sharing it that's it understand one of the most important powerful realization you need to have if you decide not to be mediocre stop believing the cognitions inserted into you by mediocre understand if you want to be windows 8 don't try to operate with windows 1 or 2 just upgrade yourself don't continue to have silly conversations inside you which was inserted into you by the mediocre people try to have mature conversation which is given to you as a knowledge by paramashiva don't try to believe the pornography videos and porn sites the ideas they inserted on you into you about you try to cognize what paramashiva gives you 
as identity to you about you understand if just this one truth this 20 30 principles he gives to identify your gender in multiple level and understand if the, just this one is done i can say almost 90% psychological problems will be solved disorders will be solved without this gender integrity every time whether you go through the sexual act or you suppress you are creating wound in you whether you masturbate with another body or masturbate alone you are creating a wound in you scar in you this identification is the primal detoxification you need to go through it's a fundamental understanding a child should be given by the age of 7 seven child should start learning about the 11 genders and what gender he feels comfortable in the physical physiological psychological conscious levels and he should start exploring the multi the multiple permutation combinations and feel discover in which combination he feels ah i know me where he manifests his highest possibilities and where he manifests his highest powers i can see in my gurukul the kids who manifest powers they feel so comfortable in their body only when they go through this gender identity crisis they try to explore another body or they allow the another body another person to explore them which should not be at least till 21 do not allow anybody to explore you or don't explore others you will have multiple realizations i tell you those realizations will solidify you consolidate gold vessel may be very precious costly it will not be useful to keep mercury to keep mercury you need only stone bowl you need to create the body to feel ah i am collecting all the sacred secrets i have revealed on gender identity earlier also and uploading all of them in enlighten app so i again remind you all download this free enlighten app become member of the free enlighten app and enjoy all the satsangs 24 hours enlighten app is having 24 hours me with you enjoy the live satsangs 24 hours get all the right answers for all your questions through enlighten app with this i bless you all once more remaining attend every day nityananda yoga morning 4 am indian standard time and i'll continue to reveal more and more sacred secrets on these subjects and prepare yourself for parama shivoham 